and we start all over again. This is Chris Elliott, a teaching assistant from Castleford in West Yorkshire. Up there in the audience is girlfriend Sally, and watching at home his daughter Katrina. Uh, Chris is a teacher at Park Junior School. Now, he went there as a boy, and now he's teaching with people who taught him. And in fact, one of his ex-teachers, now a colleague, is one of his phone of friends. And uh, we've seen tonight how important phone of friends can be. If Chris won big tonight, what he'd really like to do is go to Bondi Beach, cook a full Christmas roast, and invite Cameron Diaz to join him. <laughs> you dirty little devil, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask you, because I think I'm still a bit away among the pixies, I think. What was that like for you guys sitting there? Um, scary. It's a hard act to follow. Off. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Ten for that, I'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Fifteen questions, one million pounds all over again. Three brand new lifelines. Chris can use them whenever he wants. They're only easy if you know the answer. That is so true of this show. He's got 50-50, he's got phone a friend, and he can ask this audience. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Have a look, question number one. You've got three lifelines. Here it is. Proverbially, what shouldn't you throw out with the bathwater? The loofah, the soap, the baby, the rubber duck. I've never heard the same before. <laughs> Off the ball, that. Um, we really couldn't have a <laughs> night where one person yeah. <laughs> with not one good million pounds and the next person goes away having not got question number one <laughs> right. Then oh. again, it's got to be the baby. I'll say the baby. It's the right answer! Oh, my God, God. <laughs> Chris, don't do that. Do not do that. Right. Question number two. No, but it's 200 pounds. In 1954, Roger Bannister famously became the first man to do what in under four minutes? Run a marathon. Run a mile. Run a jumble trail. <laughs> run for Prime Minister. It's, it's definitely one a mile. So right answer, you've got 200 pounds. Right, have a look at question number three for 300 quid. Here it is. You've got all three lifelines. Let's take your time. Have a look. Which of these can be found in castor, icing, or lump form? Beef. Mm. Lard. Salt. Sugar. It's sugar. So right answer, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> have a look at question number four for five quid. This is it. According to the saying, what is mightier than the sword? The pen. The biro, the pencil, the crayon. It's the pen. Not the crayon. I'm pretty sure I didn't know. It's right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> okay, have a look. Question number five is worth 1,000. You're 11 away from the next million pounds. Chris Elliott, have a look. Question number five. In the children's TV series, what was the name of Bill and Ben's neighbour? Little weed, little flower, little twig, little tree. It's little weed. Weed. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. Yeah. It's good, you got £1,000. A bit of a, uh, bit of a shaky start there, Chris. Just a bit. Have a look at number six. You're now ten away from. Another million pounds. Here it is. Over one third of which US state lies within the Arctic Circle. Montana, Alaska, Oregon, Minnesota. Um, it's Alaska. John? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. No problem at all. It's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. Have a look at question number seven, it's worth 4,000. You've still got all three lifelines, you haven't needed them yet at all. Have a look, here it is. Which member of the Freud family is a former MP? Sigmund, Lucian, Emma, Clement. I think I'm gonna have to pass it over to these guys. I'll That'll be asked the audience, yeah. will it? Uh, on your keypads, please, lads. Uh, and ladies, 
Question number seven, it's worth £4,000 to Chris. This is the question, which member of the Freud family is a former MP, A, B, C or D? It's worth £4,000, all vote now. Eighty-three percent say Clement, nine percent, three percent, five percent. It's up to you, quite high. That's good on the bomb here, yeah. It's uh, Clement. Final answer? Yeah. Hey Chris, you've just won £4,000. Uh, you've got 4000 at the moment, this is worth 8000 you've still got two lifelines, you've got phone a friend, and you've got 50-50 left. Question number eight, here it is. In which country is Maastricht, where the Maastricht Treaty was signed? Germany, Finland, France, Netherlands. The Netherlands. Why have you suddenly decided to do that? Because when the question first came up, I thought it was between Netherlands and Belgium. And then you throw in Germany. <laughs> it's not me, it's a computer. <laughs> I just throw it in. So, uh, um, yeah, I'll go down the Netherlands. I love it. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how you got there, but you got there, you just won £8,000. <laughs> So, Chris Elliott's got £8,000, he's still got a 50-50, and he's still got a very important phone a friend, very important tonight. Next question is worth £16,000, he's seven away from the next million pounds. Join us after the break for the final part of tonight's epic, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Welcome back to the fourth and final part of tonight's epic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Just before the break, Chris Elliott was on £8,000. He's still got a phone a friend and he's still got 50 50. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, he got £8,000. Obviously, uh, I should suspect for a teaching assistant, this is now getting to be serious money. Chris, you would lose £7,000 if you gave me a wrong answer uh, to question number nine, but it's worth £16,000, okay? You've got those two lifelines. Have a look. This is question nine of a possible 15. Who is the husband of actress Melanie Griffith? Why are you smiling? Do you know this one? Yeah. Good thing. I'm Tommy Old Bumbell. Then I'll tell you for Nelson. <laughs> Alright, have a look. Dennis Quaid. Tim Robbins. Kurt Russell. Antonio Bandera. Left it, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, it's I'm Tommy Old Bumbell. Sure. Yeah. Final answer, have you? Yeah. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got 16,000 pounds. Money now. Yeah. I don't know how long is left on the show, but there's only six questions between you and a million. If we could give away two in the same night, that'd be really good. Have a look at number 10 for £32,000. You've still got two lifelines. Have a look though, Chris. Don't get uh, overexcited by the huge sums of money around tonight. You would lose 15000 if you gave me a wrong answer. Question number 10 though, I'd be delighted to give you a check on the spot for £32,000. You can pay it into the bank first thing Tuesday morning. Here it is. This is number 10 of a possible 15. Which football team from an English town plays in the Scottish... Why are you grinning at me? Perfect name. Football team from an English town plays in the Scottish League. Carlisle United. Barrow. Gateshead. Berwick Rangers. You're specialising in the fourth one, aren't you? Berwick Rangers. Definitely Berwick Rangers. For play? £32,000 yeah. if you're right. Yeah. Still confident? You can't take that grin off your face, can you? You can't. You just won £32,000!